everyone, welcome to Virtue's YouTube channel. Virtue is an EU Horizon 2020 research project. Virtue stands for Values and Ethics in Innovation for Responsible Technology in Europe. We're trying to understand how IoT, Internet of Things, um, developers and innovators make ethically consequential decisions uh, when they're building products, when they are designing products, and when they are marketing products. For our first video, we have Sammy Screamer from Bleep Bleeps. Bleep Bleeps makes uh, fun products um, that are small um, and make parenting fun and easier to manage. So we ordered Sammy Screamer and it came in this little cardboard box. Um, the first thing we noticed is that it's a, we have a little paper that says uh, please see our website below to view our full returns policy. This Sammy Screamer comes in a little box like this. And then when you open, you see that, Hi, I'm Sammy Screamer. To get me up and running, visit bleepbleeps.com, download the app and follow my setup instructions. As it happens, I already downloaded the app. So, I'm going to take... Um, Sammy off the box. Let's go. It's a sensor like this. It's uh, fairly small, you can compare it to a size of uh, iPhone 6s. Um, it's about half the height of iPhone 6s. Sammy is a movement sensor that connects to the Bleep Bleep smartphone app. Bleep Bleeps advertises that you can stick Sammy on the stuff you want to keep an eye on, like a door, a bag, or a kid's buggy, or the cookie jar. When they're moved, Sammy starts screaming and you get a notification on your smartphone. <coughs> the level of sensitivity to movement can be adjusted, so can its volume. So this is how you pair Sammy with your phone. I downloaded the app from App Store and it was fairly easy and I saw that there are two things that I can pair uh, my phone with. One is Sammy Screamer, which is a motion alarm that I have in my hand and the second one is Suzy Snooze. It's a smart uh, night light, it says, but we don't have it here today. Um, it's a fairly easy process. You say plus and then it says uh, you can buy one Sammy or you can set up your Sammy, which I do here and then it asks you to turn on Bluetooth connectivity on your device and then once you do and turn on Sammy, it connects. We have reviewed Sammy on five different values. Privacy, security, interoperability, usability, and sustainability. We were hoping to receive a leaflet or some kind of documentation with Sammy Screamer about their privacy and security policies and other kind of uh, ethical approaches the company um, Bleep Bleeps has. Uh, unfortunately, um, Sammy Screamer did not come with any documentation as such. So we went, uh, we continued our online search and we found various bits, and bits of information where um, Bleep Bleeps, the company, states how they handle user information. Um, they say that they are um, going to use IP address and location tracking and those kind of uh, data for improving their systems and um, uh, providing better services to uh, their customers. But unfortunately, we were not very sure about how that information is being handled, where it is stored, and what kind of information is matched with what kind of information. So these kind of uh, privacy details are actually quite important and we felt that Bleep Bleeps left a lot to be desired on that front. And then we thought that um, Bleep Bleeps perhaps provided their privacy policy within the app because um, Sammy Screamer actually works only when it's paired with a device. When we downloaded the app, we did find that there's a small link which sends the user to uh, Bleep Bleep's website to read their privacy policy. However, um, the user can choose not to read this privacy policy. This means that uh, Bleep Bleep's app accepts implied consent. Unfortunately, implied consent is no longer accepted under the new GDPR rules, General Data Protection Regulation, which came into force last year May. In general though, uh, we found that um, Sammy Screamer, in terms of privacy and security, provides a good solid device because it uses only Bluetooth connectivity and no Wi-Fi. That means that it is uh, less prone to or less open to risks that can come through a Wi-Fi network. 
We also really appreciated that um, Sammy Screamer does not come with a camera or it doesn't come with um, a microphone which many IoT devices use for the sake of using them and which make them open to lots of other privacy and security risks. However, as we will be um, discussing later on, it might be argued that um, using only Bluetooth connectivity um, reduced Sammy's usability. Interoperability is one of the main values or all Internet of Things devices have. It means how it connects to other devices, other software and hardware around it. In terms of interoperability, we found that because Sammy uses Bluetooth connectivity, it is fairly easy to connect it to any smartphone that has Bluetooth functionality. We also found online that multiple Sammys can be paired with one mo mobile phone, uh, but we also read that one Sammy cannot be, cannot be paired with um, multiple phones at the same time. This can be a limitation for uh, partners who are trying to keep an eye on their buggy at the same time through one SAMI um, or um, people traveling, friends traveling together um, with, a, with a shared luggage and have one SAMI that they would like to share. For usability, we reviewed Amazon reviews and also the reviews that were shared on Bleep Bleep's blog and uh, looked at how people responded to Sammy Screamer and how they used it. In general, we found out that um, people really liked the design and they really found that um, the screaming tune and um, the size and the shape and the colors, they really liked it and they really find it cute, um, which we agree. But for usability purposes, um, it was not very effective because of Bluetooth technology. And the, the main reason for that is that the Bluetooth range that Sammy Screamer uses is about 5 to 7 meters and uh, people found that that was not really um, good enough for the kind of purposes they wanted to use Sammy for. Um, another uh, reason was that uh, Bluetooth connectivity was not very stable, um, like a Wi-Fi network. That meant that Sammy kept connecting and disconnecting, and uh, they kept getting notifications on their phones, and which fa they found not very pleasant. So in a way, adding Wi-Fi connectivity to Sammy would make it perhaps a bit more usable and uh, a bit more effective in in, in the use it's designed for, uh, but as we discussed in the privacy and security, uh, perhaps it will make it less private and less secure. First thing to note is that Sammy doesn't come with rechargeable batteries. Bleep Bleep says that the battery would last you uh, one to six months, depending on how uh, how much you use Sammy. Uh, but we think that it will be better for uh, for usability and also for the environment if Sammy came with rechargeable batteries. In terms of uh, the materials used to build Sammy, Sammy itself is in a plastic casing, which we read that um, is produced in China but assembled in the UK. We don't know if this is recycled plastic, um, but we would prefer if it is. And also it would be great if Sammy as a device could be recycled by Bleep Bleeps or Bleep Bleeps offered a recycling system when Sammy completes its life course. This was Sammy. We're going to continue this series where we review Internet of Things products from an ethical perspective. And each, in each product, in each video, we're going to be looking at a different product that does a different thing and that has a different purpose. We hope you like this video and uh, if you have a question or a comment for us, please leave a comment down below. Thank you! Mm -hmm.